Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Today we're going to ask, why does ice float? Why does ice float? It's really quite a miracle. You see, icebergs float, ice cubes float in water. We take it for granted. There are three states of matter. All substances have three states, solid, liquid, and gas. But only water does the solid float in the liquid. Ice floats in water. All other substances, solids, sink in their liquid form. Just think about that. Why does ice float on water? Here's science ABC. Water's less dense in its frozen form. And we find that to be unusual. And so why does it float? It's really an amazing phenomenon. Why does ice float? It's less dense. That's unusual. What would the world be like if ice did not float? Fish would die. Lakes would freeze from the bottom up. There'd be no ice on top. The whole climate would be messed up. Think about it. If rivers froze from the bottom up as opposed to freezing from the top down. God made it this way on purpose. The Holy Bible. New Living Translation The Book of Genesis Chapter 1 The Account of Creation In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And evening passed and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. God called the space sky. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land, and the waters Seas, and God saw that it was good. And look, the first ten verses of Genesis chapter one, heaven is mentioned three times, earth is mentioned four times, light day is mentioned eight times, water is mentioned ten times. Water is certainly the dom dominant element in God's creation. Far out as our planet Earth is concerned, 70 to 75 percent of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Some other interesting facts, 97 percent of all water is contained in oceans. Only 3 percent of the Earth's water can be used for drinking, and three quarters of that is frozen on the polar ice caps. But God has made his creation perfect 
for us. You see, he's got nature that nature's cycle. Water is mentioned 722 times in the Bible, more than faith, hope, prayer, and worship. And in Revelation, water is mentioned again. Spirit and bride says, come and let everyone who hears come, and everyone who's thirsty come. Water is the most beautiful element of rich usefulness in the world. Again, 75% of the Earth's surface is covered in it. Every living being requires water. Jesus said, He is the water. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The next time you see a glass of water with ice floating, next time you see ice floating, know that God loves you. Know that He made this whole world for us. Know that He died to have a relationship with you. Know that beyond a shadow of a doubt. And to know you're saved, check out our video on the Roman road to salvation. That will help you. Know that God's Word is true. It's amazing. And comment below. Share your experiences. What do you think about floating water? God's beautiful creation. Read the Gospel of John, chapter 3, to receive forgiveness. He loves you. He really does. Talk to God about it. Talk to Him about anything. He really wants to talk with you. Seek Him.